in this video, I want to explain about four forms of leverage, which I think a concept which every every person should know because this will really change your worldview about doing things or how you do something. There, so basically, it's like there are four major forms of leverages. The ancient form is labor, like. During Pharaoh's time in Egypt, he used millions of labors, effort or 24 hours energy, experience and time to build the pyramid for himself. And then basically another form of leverage, that, that's the most basic form of leverage, labor, okay. Then the other form of labor, basically leverage is capital, okay. Let's say, see it's like in my venture capital fund, I'm using $15 million of investors' money, okay. I'm using their money in order to create returns for both, of course, for the investor and for myself. So it's like, it's a win-win situation for all. But from an investment perspective, I'm just investing my time. So it's like, I'm getting a return which is infinite because I'm investing my time. I'm using my wealth. I've invested my wealth in different areas. I have different businesses that's, you know, giving me income. I have different businesses that are giving me passive income. So it's like, you know, so that's another form of leverage that ca that's capital. And then the two most modern form of leverage is media and coding. So the thing about media is, you know, let's say Kylie Jenner with her hundreds of millions of followers, she became a billionaire at the age of 20 or 21. And what she did was also done by Maybelline, but Maybelline did it with thousands of employees and decades of basically track record. And th th the only reason is Kali Jenna used a better form of leverage than Maybelline, which was just labor. And, you know, of course, there are a lot of other things. But still, Kali Jenna did it at a very higher level because she had, a, she had, you know, hundreds of millions of eyeballs, which were compounding. I mean, which were having a compounding growth, right? Let's say if you have a YouTube channel with millions of subscribers, you have millions of people and you can show millions of things to millions of people, millions of time in any corner of the world. So that's the amazing thing about, you know, coding or basically are uh, basically media. And then there's the other most modern form of leverage that's coding. So the thing about coding is the cost to serve one people, one, one customer or a hundred customer or a million customer is almost same. There's no incremental cost to the business. Of course, there's incremental cost in customer service in a coding based business, but it's like, and there's certain other advertising costs, but it's like the cost to serve customers is not so high. Like, when Instagram had 300 million users, it had 13 employees. So what that means, it just, it just means that, you know, it's a very high form of leverage. It's like, let's say you have an email marketing software and you are just, you know, maintaining the software. You have, you have hired people in customer service, but millions of people can just go and use your email marketing software. Of course, there's a cost to, you know, the cloud storage and, you know, SMTP, but it's like, the incremental cost is not so high. Like in a manual business, let's say you need 10 pe one person to manage 10 clients, your business is growing, you have another 10 clients, you need to hire another person, and then you have more 10 clients, then you need to hire another person, and you don't need to do it when you have a software-based business. Let's say you have an online course, you have a website, people are going on your you know website, you have recorded a video, which, I mean, the effort which I'm putting to show, or you know basically to tell you these things for one person is same, but it's like, I'll get more return if hundreds of millions are watching this video, hundreds of millions of people are watching this video. Because my effort is same, right? I'm, I'm making a video which one person can also watch, which hundreds of millions of people can watch. And there's no incremental cost for me. If I put it on a website or if I put it, you know, if I, if I put it in the form of a course. So there's no incremental cost for me. The only incremental cost for me is when millions, hundreds of millions of people are coming. I have to, you know, increase the hosting storage of my website or certain other things. So that's the other form of leverage. So whatever you are doing in life, always see how, what all different forms of leverage you are using. Leverage just means getting maximum input with basically least input. Put, by putting least input, getting the maximum output. Let's say if you have a skill, okay. Let's say if you have sales skills, you are putting one hour, you know, basically to, to close deals and you are closing one customer in one hour. But let's say you improved your sales skills, you are able to close two basically deal in the same hour. So that's leverage, right? You are getting maximum out of that one hour. So when you improve your skills, that's another form of leverage. Another thing is being relationship oriented than transactional because you can get most out of a single connection rather than just, you know, trying. See, it's like, you can make a million dollars by selling a dollar thing to million people or you can make a million dollar, you know, by selling a $10,000 thing to 100 people. Ten selling $10,000 stuff to 100 people is a lot more easier, but you can only do it when you have a relationship-based approach than like a transactional approach. Transaction is just like, okay, you know, 
you gave me this much okay take this you came to a shop okay take ten dollars give me this okay great that's a transaction right it's done a relationship based approach is more of like you know hey hey henry how are you so, okay i heard about your family oh, i'm sorry to hear about this so how's everything going in the family i'm trying to do this i'm doing this what are you doing so he i'm doing this so that's a lot more relationship more personalized approach oh let me recommend you this book let me send you this pdf oh it's free value right it creates trust right so that's a lot more relationship based approach rather than like Oh, give me this, take this, take, give me this, take this. So you can never do it. It's always focused on a relationship-based approach. I hope you found value from this video. If you like it, please click on the subscribe button.